Hi everybody. This is Kathy L. Murphy, the Pulpa Queen, again reporting to you about a book that has just captured my imagination in such a way that I had to go to my closet and find an outfit that would be so exotic that you would not be able to turn your eyes away and look crouching in the background. Oh, he's my pet. That's for sure. He's disappeared into the woods. But I have got a book for you all that is going to be an official Public Queen book club selection for next year. I am so excited about this book that I decided to give you a little taste, a little read, a little um, something to spur you on to recognize that the books that the Pulp Queens are picking are so exceptionally wonderful that you won't be able to read anything else. Here is my book. Oh my gosh, check out the tiger stripes. <sighs> All the Way to the Tigers by Mary Morris. I could not put this book down. And if you don't know what this book is about, well, now that I'm 64, I have to put on my readers. I will share for you it's the story set in February 2008. A casual afternoon of ice skating derailed a trip of a lifetime. Mary Morris was on the verge of a well-earned sabbatical, but instead she endured three months in a wheelchair, two surgeries and extensive rehabilitation. One morning when she was supposed to be in Morocco, Morris was lying on the sofa reading Death in Venice. Casting her eyes over these words again and again, he would go on a journey, not far, not all the way to the tigers. So begins this story. And she even has, Mary Morris has a quote at the beginning of her book that just got me so excited. Oh, check out the inscription. Yes, I have an autograph copy. I'm so excited about this memoir. But she has put, he would go on a journey, not far, not all the way to the tigers, Thomas Mann, Death in Venice. So I'm just gonna give you a little taste of what is in store for you for our 2021 books as we go more global and more diverse. It begins India, 2011. We haven't moved in what seemed like hours. It's late in the afternoon in January and I can see my breath. Our Jeep is at the crossroads where my driver and guide sit in silence. AJ is listening. His eyes dart, skimming the woods, but mainly he listens. I'm listening too, though I'm not sure what I'm supposed to hear. I've got two horsehair blankets across my legs, a hot water bottle cooling in my lap, and a scarf wrapped around my head. I'm shivering, not only from the cold, but also possibly from perhaps a fever, and coughing from a virus that sunk deep out, down into my chest. As the sun is going down, a family of languor monkeys gathers in the trees. Something rustles in the bush, and there's chatter above. A bird with turquoise and black feathers that look like an evening gown flits through the forest. Another with two long purple plumes perches on a low-hanging branch. AJ points to the scat of an elephant on the road, but it's a tame elephant, one of four used by the rangers to patrol these worlds. A jackal bursts into the brush and crosses our path, but the tiger eludes us. It is the tiger everyone comes to see. Not the snake-eating hawk, not the spotted deer, the wild boar. It's all about the tiger. Well, y'all, when I pick a book, it's all about the story. So stay tuned for the 2021 Pulp and Queen book reading list. Also, I will be reviewing this book and doing a personal interview with the author. So. Stay tuned. This will all be posted on my Kathy L. Murphy Pulpwood Queen YouTube channel. So it will be posted here too. But thank you again, Robert, Betty, for joining me. Pass the word, the Kathy L. Murphy YouTube channel. We're 
all about the story. And I am thank you for joining me, for sharing uh, these wonderful author books of Mary Morris. And I will be doing lots of these folks because I'm a visual learner and I think we all need to learn how to find the best stories. And there's, it's a one-stop shop. Come and join the Pulpwood Queens at www.thepulp, P-U-L-P, wood, W-O-O-D, queens, plural, dot com. And we'll see you for now. It's all about the story. Bye-bye.